Mine is a barren place. The wind and heat make it just downright miserable at times. So when it's chow time, it's not the airplanes and pilots that are put to the test. It's the flight line diner. Air Force Sergeant Ted Northrop reports on the unique crew that fuel the flight line maintainers. The men and women that work on Clark's flight line know how demanding their jobs can be. About their only chance to get away from their job to relax and enjoy a hot meal is to scoot over to the flight line diner. Less than a month old, this new facility feeds between 150 to 200 people per meal. For about a year, the meals were served under the protective cover of four tents, better known as Tent City. A big problem back then was the amount of bugs that would visit during the nighttime hours. The advantage is we're in the middle of the flight line. The people don't have to leave the flight line anymore to get food. It's convenient, and like I said, it's just a short walk for anybody on the flight line to come here and eat. Another advantage of a permanent structure is the benefit of not having to tear down the dining hall due to a typhoon. Although the meals served are more limited than what the main dining hall serves, its quality is still the same. Much of the food is prepared at Dining Hall 1 and then shuttled out to the Flight Line Diner. After the exhaust hoods are installed, the windows and doors will be closed and the air conditioner will be turned on, making things even better for the Flight Line's personnel. For the news source, I'm Air Force Sergeant Ted Northrup.